Speaking freedom. Speaking freedom. Giving you the answers to be free. Be free. Be free. Cause we're speaking freedom. Sound like sound like nobody. We can get guys so we can keep it cool. How you wanna go, but how you wanna go? I don't backtrack, man. I don't miss nobody. Left it on scene, I ain't right back. I don't trust nobody. I just looked at my wrist, I got time to think. Get them cross the line to take deep. So cry, be lying in your face. Look at the nuts, gotta know how they play. If the money went straight, you gon' be here today. Ain't it my ain't show, know what to say. You ain't me, so it's locked. Like, how much cash I got? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm gonna ask you once you're a person. Oh, baby, you be lying in your face. Like, he ain't say you're buying no person. I can't even lie, he ain't my type. He ain't even know that's fine in person. Okay, so, um, a couple things. This is kind of a filler video, but it's really just going to be filled with topics that I have yet to um, do a video about that I have thought about. And um, so, one thing that I was thinking about um, from that song that was just playing is um, like, listen, I am very particular about who I associate with and how um, I am treated by those I associate with. So, like, when I start, when if I get in the mood to where that I need to feel like I got to cut you off or something like that, then once I really cut you off, there really is kind of no coming back because... Um, or you, even if you are around again, it will never be the same as it was in the beginning because you took it for granted. And then the other thing that I wanted to say um, that I kept on thinking last night is this interest comes over time. You might um, have me where I'm just so in love with your personality, with how you move, with everything that you do and who you are. But if at any time I realize that you are not the person that I believe that you are, the person that you portray yourself to be, then eventually, slowly and surely, this interest will begin to grow naturally and it will begin to put the distance between you and me. So like, um, let's say, um, because this is what makes trying to get to know people online a little bit daunting and scary or like oh feel like a waste of time because if i'm trying to get to know you online but you portray all of the shit that you really not then the time by the time i get to actually know you enough to have a conversation with you or if i just see all your pictures and then you start a show or a podcast and i actually am able to hear you talk Versus a cute little caption. Everybody can write a nice ass motherfucking caption. <laughs> Everybody can't art articulate their thoughts um, good. And then the other part, and this is not even in the notes of things that I wanted to cover, but I thought about this yesterday. There are some people that seek to be in certain positions because um, uh, financial reasons. And then they use that to um to use it for their advantage like it's people that learn certain shit just so that they can overcharge people that don't know about it to learn it or to become acquired with the knowledge or to help them with the information that they've learned so it's almost like becoming a doctor not because you really want to be a doctor but because of the status of being a doctor and, and there may be another video where i kind of um hint along these lines or say something in regards to this but i because yesterday i was literally just thinking like i wonder how many people learn psychology or learn aspects of psychology to take advantage of other people because i was just thinking about there's somebody that um that I am familiar with. I'm not necessarily close to this person, um, but um, 
<clears throat> for a while as far as online i thought that they was a really cool person you know cool and cute captions sometimes religious based captions which should be a red fucking flag <laughs> Um, captions, cute pictures, you know, let me tell you something. Click it or tick it, first off. But being cute can take you further and get you uh, beyond a lot of things that somebody that's not as attractive couldn't get away with. So somebody that's not attractive, they can't just know the bare minimum. Somebody that doesn't look the part, let's not just talk about physical attraction looks like pretty face, pretty eyes, pretty um, hair, dope haircuts, nice hairline, you know what I'm saying, deep voice for men, um, big lips, you know what I'm saying, the things that other people find attractive, it's not just that, um, sometimes the way you present yourself can make you look better or worse, you know what I'm saying, so, um, Sometimes being cute, attractive, or just looking the part can get you further than somebody that does not look the part or aren't attractive in the same ways that you are. So, um, I was thinking about that, but there are people that learn certain skills just to take advantage of other people. So, yesterday, for whatever reason, I was thinking about somebody that I'm acquainted with that is attractive, um, and I just was like, man, that person seems like they think like me um different same type of interest as far as um like of god <laughs> interested being interested in god and spirituality um having an interest in psychology and helping people but just because you have those background narratives does not mean that you're necessarily a good person or seeking to be or learn those things for the same reasons as me. Like, I'm learning the things that I learned because I have a genuine interest in it. Not because of nothing but my genuine interest and the um, understanding the way that I think and in comparison and with then in comparison to how other people think so that I can be a better person um, in the world period um but just because i started studying psychology because of my interest and because of my intuitive nature does not mean that the next person started studying psychology because of the same thing it's just like there are people that um start talking about spirituality it's always memes and shit of people be like when you're trying to fuck or you're trying to get close to somebody so you start acting like you're interested interested in the shit that they interested in you know what i'm saying so um but there are people and i don't know i don't know if it was something particular that happened or you know what i'm saying and me thinking about okay the way this person's portfolio or resume presents they might they having a meeting look hold on wait a minute i want to go back fuck I want to go back and show you. It looked like the um, the crows or all the, the the vultures. It was about thirty vultures over there, but ain't nobody eating. It looked like they having a motherfucking meeting or something. Um, if if it's over there when I come back and I remember, it's right after I get into the school zone. If I remember, I'm gonna um, take a picture of it if they're still there. If they're not there, then I can't. Um, but it was about thirty vultures just gathered in one area by Sandtown School. And um, there wasn't no food over there. I didn't see nothing dead on the side of the road, but they was just like they was having a meal. Um, anyways, so it made me think about crazy enough to see those vultures while I'm talking about what I'm talking about. Anyways, um, it made me think about um, how many people um, go and learn something because they're learning to use it to take advantage of somebody or they learned it and now they're using it to take an advantage of somebody but the person that you that you think that you know based on the photos and the shit that you see online versus the person that you hear when you talk like 
a person can, again, a person can quote and say all the right shit online, but when you hear them talk, that's when you're going to know what the fuck they really about, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent. Like, for me, depending on the atmosphere, depending on what you're talking to me about, the, it, that determines the narrative of the conversation that I'm going to have with you. I could talk about a lot of different things, probably more than the person <laughs> would imagine if they just looked at me. But it's the people that we look at and think all of the things of grandeur about that are often a lot less than who they appear to be. Like, you could post all the good shit all day long. Hold on. I'm going to see if I can get this CKT. Nope. I'm not going to push it because it's a truck coming. You can post all the frilly shit, all the cute shit, all the nice comments and all that shit all day long. But when you open up your mouth, you're going to really say a lot more than what you post about. You know what I'm saying? When a person sees your lifestyle, sometimes a person can see your lifestyle by hearing your conversation. What do you talk about? This is why, um, and again, this is not in my notes. This is often why when um, when I think about music and the music industry, I think it would be so much better if people started learning about things that they're interested in outside of the streets, outside of drugs, outside of bitches and hoes and twerking and you know what I'm saying, all of that um, in the industry, then you will get a, a, um, a better body of the work um, from musicians because they have more contextual um, background to talk about. If you don't know shit, then guess what you're going to talk about? The little shit that you do know. But the more you learn, the more you, you your conversation will be more complex. The more you are able to make even different references to metaphors and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? It's not just about trying to appear smarter or just knowing information. It's about being able to expand your knowledge base and your means for communication. Because if you can say the right words and the right metaphor, you can attract a whole different crowd. Because, Or you also have the ability to teach those who are learning from you by being able to expose them to different things. You know what I'm saying? Different words, different perspectives. It's, it's always should be about exposing people to more so it's also learning more because if you learn more about your audience then guess what you can feed into your audience better just being yourself you can be yourself better by just learning more um so i don't know i wouldn't i didn't think that was gonna be this long but yeah like there's sometimes people be learning shit because they want to use it to manipulate like if you um start learning about spirituality for the um sake of taking advantage or doing more you know what i'm saying to um like some people learn this is why it seems all over the place but i promise it's not this is why I be like skeptical about meeting people at networking events and becoming friends based on the need or desire for potential business because a person can come off with all the right shit. They can pop that player shit all day. You know what I'm saying? They can do, I say all the right motherfucking things, but um, the real thing is what do they really do? Or what is what they're telling you what it need what you needed to be in order for it to be beneficial to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, and it's not all about benefits because guess what? If a person is beneficial to you, but they a snake ass person, like they're a really dirty, nasty, vile person, then the fact that they beneficial to you may fuck up your judgment. And that fucked up judgment may leave you in a position to where you end up in a fucked up predicament because you surrounding yourself with somebody that is not a really good person. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, it's cool to be around cool people, 
but every cool person ain't solid. Everybody ain't worth actually being around. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't worth the time or the chance of day. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, sometimes it be worth walking away from, you know what I'm saying, even being connected to somebody. Like, it ain't always about fucking. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to fuck everybody, but I don't want to hang with everybody either. You know what I'm saying? A person that act like they doing all this one, living this one way or doing this one thing. And then they really, you know what I'm saying? On some scum bucket shit. Or they act like they such a positive person. But at the end of the day, they really be on the bullshit. Then, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, we got to. We got to become more aware that people be putting on airs. They will put on a perception or give you a, you know what I'm saying? They will do certain things to, to seem a certain way. And we know this because a lot of times people tell you to fake it till you make it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> people faking their personalities. They faking their character traits. They faking every goddamn thing trying to get to where they need to be and then a lot of times this is why people be confused about who they really are and what they really want in life because they didn't goddamn fake it until they was trying to make it for so goddamn long that they don't even know who they are or what they really want no more and they didn't did all of this shit just to get in this position now they're not happy in this position because they ain't really who they pretended to be the whole time you know what i'm saying like hold on i think it's a new parking space a lot of um, people came to the store when I was coming to the store, so I missed all of the apartment spaces. But sometimes doing these videos give me a little bit of time to let somebody come out and make room for me <laughs> to park where I really need to be, and that's up close. So, um, yeah, so like a lot of people, and I'm not saying this, this is not targeted at anyone, even though when I thought about it, I did have somebody in mind. When I thought about it, there was somebody that crossed my mind like, hmm, if you learn all of these things and you all of these things that should advance your way of thinking and you still on fucked up ass shit or you now trying not to be on fucked up ass shit because it's beneficial financially, then I don't know if you are a good person because you're really a good person or if you're a good manipulative person and you're only good because it benefits you or suits you at the time versus you being good because you was really a good person. You know, there's those people that do right because people are watching, but when people ain't watching, they ain't doing shit goddamn right. Like, there are people like that. You, I don't know if you've ever met somebody like that, but I've known people that are like that. Like, they ain't really good. They just good because somebody's watching. You know what I'm saying? Like, as long as somebody, call, it's like somebody calling you on your shit, you're going to do everything right. But as soon as, hey, that's what Jay-Z say in that one little thing, that clip that said, you know, sometimes the best way to see a person is to not look at them. Because if you looking at them, then they're going to do everything right. But sometimes, Jay, you can learn a lot about a person who begins to do everything that they think that you like to get everything right because they know you watching that shit is a more telltale sign of a whole lot than anything else because i again i know a lot of people that do a whole lot of shit on the right you know what i'm saying foot because they know somebody watching and they just waiting for the opportunity to do some fucked up shit or they're waiting for the opportunity to let themselves go and be who they really are and like jay-z said sometimes you gotta look away because if they think you watching then you know what i'm saying they can think you caught up they're gonna they're gonna dance they're gonna shuck and move they're gonna you know what i'm saying do what they supposed to do but as soon as the boss is the way the kids will motherfucking play and they're gonna do and say the things that they would do and say when they don't think nobody is watching that's why you gotta have cameras in your house and shit you know what i'm saying they, that's why you gotta get damn sometimes when you go in these meetings you gotta get damn secretly be recording as the one person that's consenting to recording because if not what they present in front of everybody else be different than what they do when it's just two 
or three, you know what I'm saying? Or when it's people that they can be comfortable around it. They don't think nobody listening, watching it, watching it, watching or recording, you know what I'm saying? Like, people act different if they know that they're being recorded versus if they think that it's all fair game, you know what I'm saying? Like, if they think it's all fair game, they're going to be um, some people. There are some people that are inherently good. They just are good people. They're going to do the right thing. They're going to say the right thing. They're going to act the right way. And everything is going to be everything. And everything is going to be on the up and up. And there's going to be no shady shit because they're really solid. Um, and, you know what I'm saying? And who they are is who they've always been. I like to deal with people that you didn't start acting this way because now I'm in the picture. This is already who you were way before you even knew anything about me. There are people that start getting a familiar with speaking freedom and then they start doing shit so that it could look like they with speaking freedom. It's just like there start there are people that start posting shit either to get my attention or to look like they whip they down with the uh, the movement and they don't be down with shit. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and this is how I've come to understand and know this because again, there are people that will start doing shit because you with them or because you around. And that's not what they would do if it was just on their own. If you on your own, like, who I am, you can look back 10 years and see I was still this person. I was still, you know what I'm saying, in the mind frame of where I'm at now. But you can see where from then to now how I've expanded. There are some people to where you, the only, the only, <laughs> the only goddamn, um, you can only go back a year or two and start seeing this person acting like this or being this, you know what I'm saying, or act or moving, you know what I'm saying? And and it's cool to grow and all of that, but some shit you can see the connection of, okay, so since they got with that person or now they with that person, now they you know what I'm saying, they acting a whole different way. You ain't grew that fast. You ain't learned that quick from your mistakes, goddamn. Um, and not if it took you all that time to get to the point of learning and now you with this person now you just magically you know what I'm saying better like quit with the bullshit now you know what I'm saying now you doing this now you super positive like bitch you was just goddamn being messy and shit two weeks ago you was just being messy you know and it is good to grow but you know what I'm saying people get to start acting different and then they act like the people that they used to be with ain't shit no more. You know what I'm saying? Or be like, listen, I study people, so I've seen it all. Be on the up and up and keep watch. Speaking Freedom presents Good Head Group providing advanced spiritual studies and personal developmental insight. Brought to you by Love Gang and Speaking Freedom. We look forward to helping you grow in all the areas of your life. We hope that you find all the information needed for your growth. God bless. Please listen to all disclaimers provided. If you are currently under physician's care, please maintain that relationship. This is not intended to stop your current treatment plan. If you need physician care, please seek out medical attention. Please note all results are based on the individual's ability to adapt and adjust to any given environment and situation. We are not responsible for your results at Speaking Freedom. The Life Enhancement Coaches at Speaking Freedom provide information to help you grow. You are responsible for maintaining that growth, taking on and then applying the information to your individual life as you deem needed and necessary. This may contain and explain explicit content. Please use parental discretion. For best results, you will need an open mind, the ability to research, and a balanced lifestyle.